darlings. Um, I decided to pop in and I've been waiting for a week for everything to arrive because I want to do my uh, yearly haul. Um, I normally wait to around income tax time because that's when I have money to spend. But um, I got a bunch of goodies and I just wanted to share with you all. So first we're going to start with the boring stuff. But the boring stuff is what actually makes um, my soap products. So I have here 44 pounds of sunflower oil. I have here 37 pounds of olive oil pomace. And here 25 pounds of, is this 25 pounds? No, excuse me, eight pounds of palm kernel flakes. And over here I have, this is 25 pounds of cocoa butter and 25 pounds of stearic acid. So. That's all my oils and stuff that I want to restock. Um, it's not everything, but some things I needed more than others. And some things I did buy and already had enough, but I just wanted to not run out because running out sucks. So now let's talk about the fun stuff. Um, I ordered stuff from Rustic Essential, Aztec, Nature's, nope. I always say Nature's Garden, Nurture Soap, <laughs> TKB Trading. So what I have here from Rustic, um, should I put this in a tripod? No. Okay. So what I have here from Rustic is a restock of my almost ice mica. I had to get that again because I was almost out. Actually, I was out. <laughs> and then I had to get this aquamarine dream because it is gorgeous, y'all. Let me tell you. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me sit you down for a second because I want to show you the inside of this. I'm trying to get more aquas and blues because I don't really have a lot of those. But I hope that the camera is picking this up and it doesn't just look blue. But let me tell you, honey, it is gorgeous. Look how pretty that is. That's really beautiful. So, yeah, I definitely had to get some of that. And then I did get some restocks of, put the camera down again, yep. <laughs> some restocks of my most popular fragrance oils, which is, I got a pound of hipster. Um, I got some when I went to South Carolina in September, but it's all gone. So I got a pound of hipster. I got a pound of cashmere woods and tonka bean because I forgot to get some while I was there. Lord, what was wrong with me? I got some more Earl Grey and apple because it smells wonderful. And I was just kind of on this tea kick, so I did get a couple of tea fragrances. But yeah, this was sold very well and I love it. So I got more of that. Told you guys I love tea. I got this green tea in Willow, which smells amazing as well. And then I have, let me see if I can pronounce this uh rubios red tea which is very very nice as well so i'm very happy with all the tea fragrances i got and rustic also gave me a well i picked the ones i want fresh lemon sugar type it's lemony i like it it smells really good but it's a sweet lemon not tart everybody loves patchouli rain i want to see what the whole hoopla was about and yep i see why there's a hoopla because i do like patchouli rain and then again patchouli cake i got some cedar wood and patchouli this smells really nice as well so those are my restocks and a few new ones like i said um want to get more teas in my life i needed some more teas in my life so from aztec i got oatmeal milk and honey i normally get that from another supplier but i just want to try something new and it smells just like my regular oatmeal milk and honey but this one is oatmeal and honey which is the exact same thing um I also got lavender reformulated and I don't love this one so I think I'm just gonna go back to my regular one and then I got grapefruit mangosteen this smells fantastic so more fruit and for my freebies um, I picked cashmere petals which is lovely I got lavender lemon which I hear a lot of people do blends of that and I was like huh that stinks but it actually doesn't and then i got mango papaya so oh also don't ever shop when you're tired because you end up doing very foolish things so i thought i got some td from rustic which i got my package and i did not then i got some td from aztec which i got two pounds of td from aztec and i was like okay well we're good and then i got my tkb trading box today and got more TD, what the hell of it? <laughs> so <laughs> I had just been looking and searching and searching, trying to make sure I was getting everything I needed and wanted to the point that I ended up getting stuff that I did not need. So um, let me 
start with well start with let me go to nurtures next and let me get a chair because I told you guys I got knee issues knee issues and this knee is starting to hurt all right and then I got something very very special at the end to show you guys I'm sure you already saw it but I'm gonna show you what it is so then I can leave the camera sitting here sweet so um for nurtures I got a Klein blue mica which I should probably pick the camera up then right here um, I got one ounce of that and it is very very pretty it's very popular I've seen a lot of people use it and I'm like oh, I should try that so as you guys can see I am on the blue and teal kick I also got some purple vibrance mica powder <clears throat> which is actually showing up blue on camera and here's what's dumb I was supposed to get my no I didn't I already got my purple passion I believe it is uh, from rustic I was gonna buy more and I forgot <laughs> duh and then the dumbness doesn't stop there, but we'll get to that in a second. So, um, as you guys know, I love, 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 and love some uh, Lush dupes. So, all of these are pretty much Lush dupes. So, um, I'm going to say I like all of them except for two because one smells extremely gross to me. I'm not going to smell these and tell you the notes and none of that stuff. But, I got the Grim Reaper, which is Focus. Focus. All right, now we're in focus, but I got the Grim Reaper from Nurture Soap, and this is a dupe of Lush's Death and Decay. And Death and Decay, I've heard a lot about this. People go nuts over it. Either you love it or you hate it. Some people said, said it smells just like a um, funeral, and other people said they just love it. It is extremely floral, and um, I actually do like it. It is very, very floral, but I do like it. And then I got Rose Geranium, just because I hear a lot of um and this is not a lush dupe i just thought it was very interesting um i hear a lot of um people who do essential oils they do an essential oil blend of rose geranium so i decided to give it a go and this is not an essential oil because i don't really love essential oils i um, yeah i just don't i've smelled a gabe and i went out and i found a bunch of essential oils and smell and i was just totally grossed out and that's not to say all essential oils smell like that because I do like peppermint but for the most part majority of them I do not like especially citrus anyway so um rose geranium I decided to get that do love this um harlequin romance is um, 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 um luscious dupe of 1000 kisses I don't remember what this smells like but I do believe I like that one I'm gonna move that back yeah I did like that one actually flame tree is Lush's dupe of Fire Tree and it smells disgusting to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna sit this down, maybe it'll work better. Um, but oddly enough, Gabe loves it. So I guess it's just to me it smells like black pepper and black licorice mixture. I just I don't love it, but Gabe really likes it. So I guess it's all just a personal preference. Then I have Creation, which is Lush's dupe of inhale i don't know why this camera's not focusing maybe it's too close but if i move it out then you can't see but anyhow so yeah i like that one seven aisles i don't like um hold on let me check no oh, yeah no i don't like that one it smells oddly enough seven aisles is a, a lush dupe for big and i like the first note that you smell but the last note is quite gross to me. I don't know what it is, but it, it's, it kind of turns me off. So, oddly enough, Gabe liked that one too. So, <laughs> then I got Blue Agave, which smells fantastic. And this is not a Lush dupe. Um, this just got really, 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 really popular reviews. So, I do like that one as well. I got Anarchy, which is, excuse me, Lush's um, Lord of Misrule. And I absolutely love this one this is my favorite i have been wanting to get this one for the longest so i'm very happy i did and i'll go back and get an eight ounce bottle because i love this one then i got some indigo powder um just because i want to try it but here's what's done uh i was watching so clean and she uh used indigo powder and i'm like yeah i should try that and then um i gotta show you guys this because this is really stupid but I have, um, she, I called my little sister, and she's Indian, and her mom was coming from India, and she got me <laughs> this big, okay, hold on, she got me this big old bag right here of, um, 
indigo powder. <laughs> it was uh, henna in here, but she got me indigo powder as well. So I just kind of stuck it in here. But yeah, so I guess I don't really need any indigo powder for a very long time. So yeah, um, I don't know why I didn't remember that. Then I got some French green, <laughs> French green clay, not glean clay. <laughs> Uh, I got four ounces of that because I had a teeny tiny sample from them they gave me for free and I was like I don't like this so I'm kind of on the green tea thing guys excuse the fingernails at work I'm telling you whoo I've been chopping up my fingernails like crazy check that one out that is terrible anywho this is not a nail show but my nails are looking rough so um yeah so I figured with the green tea thing and then some French green clay and you know I just might be on to something I don't know and then I decided to get some Brazilian, purple Brazilian clay as well. I got one ounce of that. I didn't, oh, I can't show you the green clay because if I, I can show you the green clay. All I gotta do is pick up the camera. Kenny, okay, mind you guys, it is, um, what time is it? It's 9.30, which is late for me. Today is the 2nd of March. My mom and I ran out because we had been meaning to over and over and she wasn't feeling well and I wasn't feeling well so we just couldn't seem to get it together but we went to see Black Panther and then I took her out to dinner so we had a great old time and today is the day I finally got everything in for me to do this haul but yeah so bear with me in my scatterbrainness but yes that is the French green clay and um I do like it I really do um oh okay cloud please then I'll show you the purple Brazilian clay, which is this one here, one ounce. And then uh, that's what that looks like on the inside. It's a really pretty purple. I hope that purple stands true in the actual soap. Probably should have put some lotion on these dry hands, y'all. But anyway, like I said, it's life for me anyway. Because actually 9.30 is when I normally go to bed. So, <laughs> so yeah, um, anywho. So moving along. To how I end up getting like I said the dumbness didn't stop because I end up getting some more TD and when I show you from the Aztec TD and then TD and then I got gleaming gold from TKB which guess what I already own that <laughs> then I got soft aqua from TKB and guess what I already own that never used it now this one I purposely did buy because I love this color and I use a lot and then I got this. I don't know why because I don't need it because I have a full bag of it and never used that as well. And now I have just realized out of all of this, I had, I meant to get just a really pretty buttercup yellow. I didn't order it from anyone. So yeah, kick in the head for Kenny. Um, so yeah. Okay. And then the one thing that I want to show you guys, which I think is so awesome because for those of you who have been here for a while and yes, March Month of Giving is starting. It is not starting today. It will start the week of my birthday, which my birthday is March 11th. So we got time and it'll play out until the end of March. And I'll give you all the details on that day or the weekend of, you know, because it's my birthday and I might be busy. I don't know. But so my mom is awesome. And I told you we just got finished hanging out, had a girls night. And she's so, 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 so sweet because I love apothecary jars let me show you before I show you what she got for me I'm going to show you what I already have move all the junk out the way but you see all my apothecary jars over here I keep all of my little stuff in here so there's some sugar there's my botanicals back there some TD some colloidal oatmeal I had my kale and clay in there my goat's milk is in there and then she went <laughs> and my mom's so sweet I just love that lady she got me this one. <laughs> you see how big this thing is? This is 10 pounds of kale and clay in here. Uh, not only did she get me this one, <laughs> then she got me this one. And then she got me, whoops, I'm making a mess. Then she got me this one. So I have the stair step, one, two, three. I, oh, I'm so in love right now because I love apothecary jar. So I do, um, I think I'm gonna transfer my TD into this one. Because I have, duh, clearly I have enough to go into this and fill it up pretty much. And then um, I got to figure out what, which one I'm going to put in there. But yeah, so there is my restock haul. What did I drop? Oh, I see. Um, that's my restock haul um, that I do yearly. And I didn't get as much as I normally get. Normally I go nuts, but really there's no real need for it anymore. 
um, just because I'm getting pretty well stocked on the things that I need and anything else is just kind of a want. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this, um, this haul video. And I think I got everything. I do believe I was able to get everything. Yeah, yeah, I got everything because I brought it on a, I was sure to bring it all downstairs before I film. So, love hugs and kisses. Be awesome and amazing everything you do. If you did enjoy this video, please do give a thumbs up. Yes, I know I was kind of all over the place, but like I said, I'm tired. <laughs> Anyway, but I just really wanted to get this video up for you all and someone did and I'm going to say it because that way I'm going to be held accountable for it. Someone had asked me about what type, well actually she recently asked me about what type of camera I use and um, I get asked all of the time about my camera and my lighting setup. So I'm going to do a video for that as well. And um, I don't know when that's coming, but it'll be coming soon. So again, um, if you're new to my channel, hello, I am so freaking happy you found me. I really, really am. I hope that you enjoyed this haul. And this is, if you're new to soap making, this is all the stuff that you will use in soap making. Um, definitely some you may not, some you will. But um, if you found it helpful, please be sure to give a thumbs up. Subscribe to become a part of my Stinging Awesome crew. And hit that notification bell to get a notification whenever I post new videos. Alright guys, I'm off. Because I think, I think I'm just going to be crazy enough to edit this video tonight. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, love you guys. Bye.